Celine, Fenrir, Pen Summon! Big absolutes. Summon again for free. Cross Sheep. I don't even know. I'm swimming the gates. I don't even have a zone to summon off Cross Sheep. Hello, Pendulum Chads. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to play Pendulum this format with the one card that will save Pendulum forever that nobody is using. If you guys are ready for this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button because this one card will change the way Pendulums are played forever and ever. Kistira players, as we speak, are in shambles. They're lining up to Loserville because they're going to lose every single game to every Pendulum player that watches this video. Assuming that you're playing on the new Kistira playmat on www.tripgaming.com. You guys can get right now. There's nothing saucier than slapping up a Kashira loser by playing on a Kashira playmat. Nice arise, arise heart, buddy. Doesn't matter. Pen five. So every pendulum player, stay tuned to the end of the video because this video will change the way you play pendulum forever. Let's go. Fast forward to game three. Look at my hand. Does it look like I'm playing pendulum? I am playing pendulum. Look closely. Look very closely because I'm going to show you guys the biggest secret of pendulum. Okay. Now, all the cards we have in our hand are good combo cards that must be played in every pendulum deck. And I'm going to show why. Watch until the end of the video. You're going to see what I mean on why every single pendulum deck needs this one card that ties everything together. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. Now, this is my Kashira pendulum deck, which utilizes. Brave, Kashtira, Scareclaws, all this stuff. Why? Because what helps Endymion the most? Draw cards. So I want you guys to pay close attention here. All I need is a Servant or Abductor, and my hand is broken. So pay close attention. Always Souls the Mighty Master, because eventually when you go beyond the Pendulum, all you need is one scale, and you could be on the Pendulum and pen your whole hand. Pay close attention, everyone. Pay close attention, because this is about to blow your mind. So over here, I'm going to Souls draw two. Still no pendulum cards. What the heck, man? Where are all my pendulum cards? Don't worry. So we just drew two, right? We just drew two cards. I'm going to show you guys something absolutely absurd. Here, let's go into a Vice of Star Frost effect, bring out Lightheart. And now, let's draw one more because Arrival is going to draw one. So we just drew three now. Still no pendulum cards. Can you imagine a servant or abductor with this hand? Now, hold on, hold on. Here's the card that saves pendulums forever. Vice of Star Frost. Scareclaw Rykart, Scareclaw Lightheart, and Fenrir. What? Does anyone play hand traps this format? No, they just play loser like Nib and Ash. That's it. Griffin, the gate. Effect. Saryuja. I wonder. This is the best pendulum card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why? Look at my hand right now. I'm playing a pendulum deck, right? Huh. If only I were to draw a servant, mastery, and a fucking mighty master with my Saryuja. This is the best pendulum card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why? Because it allows you to play go second cards in a Kashira format. So in a Kashira format, when your zones are locked, night, guess what? Your Fenrir is going to stop your opponent's loser-ass shang idiot, and then your right of Hermes here is going to bounce the shang idiot, and then if they were to give you a, a what's it called? A Link-1 Ibli, whatever, tribute summon. in. I don't care. You clap them into the next level, and then you side into 13 bo board breakers. So in a Kashira format, you cannot play pure pen. You have to play pen. A, a whole max out your endemian engine max out your endemian engine and when, play cards that have a bunch of spell counters now we put back three right i don't need any of those three so i use this effect in a pendulum deck it says draw four it does not say draw four put back three it just says draw four i was never using any of those three cards anyways anyways servant effect mastery oh baby this deck's insane look at this that's how you play pendulum right now so I usually is the glue that holds this deck together it's the glue that holds everything together now look at the draco sack yo trip what are you doing Triff, are you crazy? Triff, are you the best player in the game? Yeah. So look at this. Draco Sock, bring out two. Now you're going to be like, Triff, what are you doing? What are you doing? Cherubini, what the heck? You already have Enchantress, Triff. What are you doing, Triff? What are you doing, Triff? What are you doing, Triff? Sending Jalgen. I wonder what Celine does. Special as a spellcaster. GG, buddy. Ha 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 ha. G fucking G, buddy. Celine. Fenrir, pen summon. Big absolutes. Summon again for free. Cross sheep. I don't even have a, I'm swimming the gates. I don't even have a zone to summon off cross sheep. Why is this possible? Because it's Ayusha. So you gave me scales. So you should allow me to pen summon. Terraforming search your secret village. Good fucking G fucking G, baby. Jalgen secret village. Vortex. Jackal. Selene with mighty master. Fenrir. This Fenrir could have been a mighty master. GG. This game is too easy. Why is this possible? Did I open any... Did I open servant? No. I didn't even Crowley this turn. We drew nine. We drew seven times. It would have been nine with Crowley. I just didn't go for Crowley because I didn't need to. But this is nine. That's what also Yuja. So Yuja is the glue of this deck. It holds this deck together. When you combine all these amazing archetypes that just blow your opponent's boards, 
for example, the Scareclaw engine gets access to Rectphobia, which is a bunch of ways to pop one card to stop the stop your scales from being locked. Fenrir, all the uh, field spells that get the Kashtir of Fenrir is another way to stop yourself from being locked. Right of Hermes here is another way to like bounce, stop one card. By having multiples of cards that stop one card, you're able to stop the zone lock and then you just pen five and destroy your opponent. And because you have a bunch of cards that just sit on the field, Saryuja is the glue that holds it all together. And without Saryuja, this deck is nothing. Saryuja is the glue that holds all pendulum decks together and it allows you to play go second cards that destroy your opponent that are also good going first, ending on unbreakable boards like this. Holy shit, GG. This is the deck list. If you guys got this far, make sure to go check out TripGaming.com to get your Kishtira playmat. To clap your opponent's Kishtira, but also to use yours. Now, this is the deck profile. Three Servant Vendemian, one Abductor. You only need one because you don't want to have too many Servants and Abductors. You have Mastery as well. So by playing three Mastery, three Servant, and three Abductor, you could have scenarios where you draw too many monsters and not enough spells. The beauty of this deck is all the monsters search spells as well. That's what synergizes it together. So if you look at Enchantress, it gets spells. Fenrir gets Kashtira. Kashtira gets Vice gets uh, Scareclaw. Kashtira gets Scareclaw. Rykar gets Rykphobia. Gets Arrival. So even Fenrir gets you two spells. The Kashtira field spell gets you three three spells. So when you scale Servant, you go Pressure Planet, Right Soth as one spell, and then you could spe uh, special Fenrir. Fenrir fact add Scareclaw Kashtira. Special Scareclaw Kashtira throughout your combo. Then go into Light Heart, which will get Rykphobia. Then that'll get Right Cart, which will get uh arrival so you get three spells from one field spell that's crazy terraforming gets four spells set rotation gives you five spell counters like that shit's crazy prep and souls becomes even absurdly crazier in this deck because you have all these spells that you get like fenrir gets you all these spells and scarecrow stuff gets you spells it synergizes absurdly well and what spellcasters the whole deck enchantress souls all this stuff they're all spellcasters so it works remarkably well with Crowley. One Jackal, double Mighty Masters is all you need because you get to them every single game. It's Servant Abductor Turbo. That's what this deck is. And by hard drawing Mighty Master, you just prep yourself for a Selene. You try and go to Selene as soon as possible to uh, Mighty Master, their board. Nice board. Too bad it's in the grave. Shout out Master. We play seven Magician Souls, one Blue Boy of Secrets Knowledge. The at first look, you would think Blue Boy conflicts with Enchantress. It doesn't matter. It, it literally just doesn't matter. So you play a small version of, of Enchantress and Rite of Hermes here because of Draco Sack and Cherubini. Your first play for Cherubini, you go Draco Sack with, you go Fenrir, special any level seven. You go Draco Sack, two tokens, make Cherubini, send Enchantress, resolve Enchantress, and you just win. Uh, Blue Boy is still there because you play all these spellcasters, including the right package. So you just turbo out Crowley to get you two more draws. So every turn you go for nine draws, nine draws. Post side deck leading to a Jagan Secret Village play. One Lava Golem because you want a, a small world. Thanks to Illusion of Chaos being 2,500 defense and not matching up anything else with Lava Golem. And if you look at all the Endemian cards, Servant, Abductor, Enchant even Enchantress, Blue Boy, they're all, they all somehow link to Illusion of Chaos. So with only one thing, like none of them are dark. And there's ways to get Jackal and Master to it as well. So there, you play one Lava Golem to have four ways to it. So in a 40, true, four, you playing upstart or into the void in a 47 card deck. Well, it's because of spell counters. If I could play a hundred into the voids, I would, but this is all I can play draw wise. So by playing a 40, because of the other draw cards, it's like a 43 card deck. Uh, so you play four of them are lava golems. You draw nine times in your turns. So you even draw into them. So this is just absolutely absurd. Uh, just so, 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 so good. And all these spells are just free cards for a servant. Upstart into the void. Yeah, all of these as well. I'm sure you guys know what mastery does. Secrets knowledge. You play triple smart world because everything leads to everything. Everything has a bridge to each other. So it's really powerful in this deck. And you do play just one scare. You go Fenrir. In you only play the Kashtira cards for two reasons. One, going second is very good. And for two, you have Fenrir be the link into the Scareclaw engine. So you go Fe uh, Fenrir or the field spell into Scareclaw Kashtira which Scarecrow Kashtira will then lead to Light Heart, and then your Light Heart will lead to Right Heart, and then that will lead to your Arrival. It's just too many draws, too many pluses, and you're going to Soyuja, and your opponent just clapped. And it, the extra deck's mainly for going second, but you still end on like a billion thousand negates. Side deck, triple Thrust, triple Talent, one Dark Hole, triple Regeki. It's one Dark Hole because for Thrust, to search the Dark Hole to get rid of Ibli, you're not concerned about Ibli whatsoever. Because you're playing so many Steel cards, you have eight of them, three, six, Mind Control, Chain of Heart, you steal their card and then you just tribute summon. You have so many cards to tribute summon. Uh, so it that's the way to out it. Don't play around Ibli. Not many people are, no one mains it. And even if they were to draw the random uh, Ibli, if they even play it, 
uh, which a lot of people are even getting rid of now because everyone knows about it. Uh, it's, there's a lot of ways to get rid of it. So you don't got to waste double slots of Ibli or Lingaribo. It's stupid. There's no point. Uh, Duster, you don't need Evenly. Evenly is actually really bad in a Pendulum deck because you draw into the Evenly. So you want cards that you draw into. So when you have a big ass board and you go to Yusha and then you have some other shit on board too, you don't want to Dark Hole your board. So that's why Regeki is better than Dark Hole in this deck specifically. All these spells synergize with Servant and Abductor. The idea is that you scale the Servant or Abductor and then you resolve the spells. So it, s random spells synergize a lot more post side where there's even value to randomly Regeki a board that you're going to break anyways just to gain value from it. So cards to draw into are absurdly good in this. But you still play the one Dark Hole, one, just in case if you, they, if you do have the Ibli where you could Ibli your own self as well. Uh, it looks like you only have one card for back row, Duster, but Pendulum, uh, uh, this deck absolutely obliterates trap decks. So just the natural way of this deck, how this deck plays, it obliterates trap decks. You don't need to side all this nonsense just for trap decks. It's just an incredible, incredible matchup. But if you play smart, you outgrind the shit out of every trap deck. And it does look like you only have one Duster, but you really have four Dusters. Because every trap deck uses some monster effect on your turn. So you're able to thrust into your Duster. Uh, extra deck is one Lightheart, one Beyond the Pen, one Cherubini, one Crowley, one Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep is for the Absolute Vortex play. Triple Selene, it does come up. Three Selene does come up. It really does. It's the biggest part of the deck. You need it. Trust. Access Code, Apoloza, Saryuja. All vital. Sayuja is literally makes this whole deck. If it wasn't for Sayuja, I'd be playing some pure Endymion deck. But thanks to just throwing mo amazing monsters on board, I don't think you guys understand how powerful this card is. Like, the only hand traps people are playing are Nib and Ash. Maybe an Imperm. The heck? You're going to have something gates up anyways. Like, it doesn't do anything. You're always able to draw with the Sayuja. So Sayuja is absurd, this format. And what it does for decks like this is just, it's, it's next level. It's a, better than Graceful Charity. It's like a Graceful Charity in your extra deck that's better. Like, imagine Graceful Charity, a card that's the most broken card ever, randomly just says, hey, I'm a Graceful Charity in my extra deck. The fuck? How the fuck are you not going to play it? This is so easy to spam monsters. The, the, for this deck, the issue is not, can I put up four monsters? The issue is, can I put up 40 monsters? No, because not enough zones. Four monsters is not an issue. 40 is the issue, not four. You, you, you have so many monsters, you don't have enough zones. So it's a user helps big time. Like, it's an understatement. It is the whole deck. So you did not exist. I would not be playing this deck. Vortex Absolute, Draco Sack, and the one Zeus. Zeus is especially big. Let them, like, look at the section deck. Every single, well, the one little card they're going to take out, they're going to take out Beyond the Pendulum. That's what they're going to take out. No problem. I don't even fucking use it anyways. <laughs> Let them. If they get rid of Zeus, who gives a shit? None of these cards are vital. Like, they could take out anything. You don't care. The best part card they could take out is probably Lightheart. But they're going to take out Beyond the Pendulum or Zeus. Who gives a shit? They could literally, like, it doesn't matter what they take out. It just doesn't affect us at all. So that's the deck. This deck's absolutely insane. So if you guys like this video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Pen best deck. So he usually makes this deck to next levels. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to do more Pendulum videos coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pen best deck! TriffGaming.com. Get your mats. Peace.